everyone. I just finished a workout. It is 7.20 and Eric just went to work um, downstairs, but um, he works at around for 7.20. Um, and last night I finished my number eight. So this morning I'm gonna pick this up and get the ninth um, row done. I am loving these colors. So this is the Wool Baron Advent Skein. So each day um, you knit one row and everything is already here. So there's no like weaving ends, anything. Everything's all done for you, which is amazing. Um, yeah, and last night I measured for, the girls are just watching some TV. Last night I measured for my cold winter night socks and I have, I think, approximately three inches before I start the toe, which is amazing. And it's definitely something I want to finish today. I am right here. And I have decided that I will be doing the plain, the plain toe. I just think it's a classic more look. And I'm debating, I'm not sure if I, what color of the toe I would like. Not sure yet. Um... I'll figure that out. And uh, tomorrow is releasing my perfect double stranded socks. So today is going to be taking a ton of photos. I took some already, but I need to take more, uh, more photos, finish the pattern, get, I would like to start doing blog post more. So I'm thinking of trying to write that today, getting the blog post up, photos. The girls are going to pre-K thankfully. So it gives me that two hours to really get everything done so that this afternoon um, I can play with them. They have not noticed yet, but it snowed last night. And right now they're just watching. I mean, it's it's 7.20 in the morning, so um, they're going to freak out when they see the snow and they're able to go play outside. So hopefully um, we can avoid that this morning. And when they get back home from pre-K after they're um, around lunch, I will be outside with them, we'll play, and that'll be a lot of fun. I was hoping to finish the second, um, or the third sample, I should say, out of Molly of a Homespun House yarn, but I definitely can't do these two today. That would be a little crazy. Um, but definitely I'll take a photo. So yeah, that's that's my plan today. I have a few things that I need to get done. Open Advents. Um, edit the video. It's a busy, busy morning. Especially the day before release is the busiest, um, busiest day for me because there's just so much admin things to do. Making sure the pattern is right, the Ravelry listing, everything. Um, so all of that. I want to make sure it's done. So let's get on it. Um, make a cup of coffee later. I don't need a cup of coffee right now. I am trying to wake up, work out with a um, nice glass of water and later on take my cup of coffee rather than wake up and have coffee right away. So we're going to try that. <laughs> yes, I'm addicted to coffee. I know. I know. So we're, we're going to try that. We're going to try. For the photos, I want to make sure um, I'm going to wet block this. So this is how I do my socks. It, you don't have to put it in anything fancy. Um, I just put it in a bowl. And this is the wool wash that I use um, right now. I'm using Soak in the Fig Scent. So I just pour some of this on my sock, um, put lukewarm to cold water, and then I'm going to block these out. These are Knit Picks blockers, and they are great because of the holes in them, which means that they will dry much faster because it's letting air through um, rather than having a full solid one. So yeah, we're just going to wet block this and get this drying um, so it'll look really nice on photos. The reason, and you do not need to wet block socks, socks will automatically block on your feet, but when you're taking a photo you don't want it all crumped up, so that's why I think wet blocking just gives it that nice crisp definition, it looks really nice, so that's why I do them. So let's get blocking.
so these are now going to just air dry for a bit and then I'll be able to take some photos later. Even if they're a little bit damp, um, you won't be able to tell in the photo, but at least all the stitches have kind of evened out and it's not flaring. It's just gonna be really nice and crisp, which is what I love when I take photos. I wanna make sure that they look nice. If I don't have the chance to do this, um, what I also like to do is just leave them on the blocker dry and they actually dry block which means that they will take the shape, but you don't need to wet block them. So, really like them. Looks like I did my heels. Looks like that one's longer. I don't know if it's just because it looks a little stretch, or I just did a little longer. Nope, it looks like I did an extra row. That's okay. They're just for me. Just dropped off the girls, and uh, I am going to make myself a cup of coffee. Um, a sweet, sweet friend sent me this Arizona Starbucks mug. It is beautiful, um, so I'm gonna be making my coffee in that this morning. This is actually gonna be my first cup because I drank a ton of water with my workout this morning. Doing good. I'm trying to limit them to like one to two a day. And I currently have some egg white French toast going. And yeah, then I'm going to work. I'm going to try and like just completely zone out, get everything done. I even want to create a to-do list, get everything done that needs to be done. Also yesterday, the girls came home from pre-K with these adorable little crafts. They do the sweetest little crafts. Um, it says my tree, mon sapin in French. It's just so adorable. I love it with the pom-pom and like even these. adorable. But yes, coffee, breakfast, and work all morning. So a little bit of a change of plans. Um, Chloe wanted to come home from pre-K this morning. She said that she had a stomach ache and she wouldn't stop crying. So she is now sitting on the couch. I just gave her a little tie all and watching a little bit of Baby Shark or I don't really know what that is. So yeah, I don't know how much work I'm gonna get done, but that's okay because they will always come first. Um, right now I'm just going to sit down with my cup of coffee, a little bit of knitting and cuddle her for as long as she needs. Then we'll go get Claire. Um, right now it's almost 10 o'clock. We'll go get Claire for 11.30. But, you know, poor little bumpkin is just not feeling well. So it's gonna be, I think, a cuddle afternoon until she's feeling a little bit better. The girls are just playing on the floor. Um, I have been working all morning. I got the Patreon post up, so if you are a member of Patreon, it is this month's free pattern for the double-stranded socks, and it went live today. Um, and then we have a Zoom call tonight, which is fun. I love chatting with all of the patron members. It is, uh, our Zooms are for the four upper tiers. So that is gonna be tonight, which we have a Zoom once a month, and I usually change the times to try and get a bunch of people. So, on Paptage, okay? So I am trying to finish up everything here right now. My newsletter, the blog post, I finished already. The Ravelry project page, the Patreon post, um, the photos, edited the photos, finished the pattern. Still so much to do. It is ridiculous. The day of a pattern or the day before a pattern release, it's bonkers. Chloe seems to have been feeling so much better. Um, I don't actually think it was. She came home. She started eating her snack that we had sent her. And then 10 minutes after, she was perfectly fine. And she wanted to go back. And I'm like, uh, no, no, you cannot go back. 
she was not happy with me. So I do not think that she really had a stomach pain. Um, I just think she wanted to be home and then she realized that um, she was having so much fun over there that she wanted to go back. So I told her no, that she needed to wait for tomorrow. She did not, she didn't like me very much, but that is okay. I'm getting work done and then they are playing with the Peppa Pig app and they are just like doing the puzzles and stuff. I use only the iPad when I have to. I use it once a day so that um, I'm able to get work done. They are able to do that and then we'll be spending some time together. A few moments later. I just noticed I haven't even started editing yesterday's vlog. I barely drank my coffee because I made my coffee. I sat down, I was about to start working and that's when the pre kid called. So I haven't even drank coffee. I'm running on no coffee. Somebody send help. went to bed and I'm finalizing the blog post. Um, I will probably put all of that live tonight so that whenever anybody wants to search for it overnight, it will be there for tomorrow and I'm going to just publish everything and have everything done um, and ready so the Zoom is in one hour. And I'm super proud of myself, you guys. I have less than an inch to go on my socks and I'm thinking of doing something fun for before the toe. I love these two little stripes. I'm debating um, doing the stripes before the toe. I'm trying to figure out if I just want to do the toe in the red. I'm debating like these two little stripes. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do but I want to, I do know that I want to do something fun and cute at the toe. But yes, this will be done. And um, probably on the Zoom call, I will bring, I want to knit the Advent Stripe, and then I will pick up my Homespun House socks. Either that or I should probably cast on the second one to get them, get them up right away. I do want to get other things off of my needles though. That homespun house I want to get off of my needles. Too many things. Not enough knitting time. Not enough. But yes, so I'm really happy. And that I will be able to finish this tonight. Right after I have just a few more things to do on my computer. And then I'm going to sit down, read a book. I need to pick out a new book. And wait for the Zoom. So I can chat with some of my friends. Which I'm super excited about. I really love the Zoom call. Um, we just chat and knit together and everybody shows off what they're working on and we just chat about anything and everything. We do it once a month and it's just a lot of fun. 
But yeah, I think I'll end the vlog here. So I hope that you guys, as always, enjoy it and I will catch you guys 